Sister Claire Dunn was the first sister to take office, public office. She did a magnificent job. Claire was the real thing. And she and Judy were perfect. A great team. They were both ordinary and extraordinary people. Claire was a high school social studies teacher. One of the things that she did was she made the students go to a city council meeting or the Democratic Party meeting and to go to the Republican Party meeting to see how government really works. And one time a student said to her, Sister, it's really in a mess. Why don't you run for office? I always said that religious life is a great training ground for the Arizona State Legislature. <laughs> Tucson was such a wonderful place because we had a wonderful, wonderful community. We had 65 sisters in Arizona at that time. We could talk about politics, we could talk about everything, you know. When Martin Luther King Jr. was shot, Sister Claire Dunn, Rachel and Judy, myself, we were the only ones not of color down at their church in Tucson praying with them that night. This is how we became alive to the social justice issues. You had to change your thinking. I had not been there very long when Claire said to me, she was considering running for office, and I thought, oh my God, the community will not, I mean, we were open to some new things, but this was gonna be a real struggle. First of all, I wanted to run as a sister. I did not want to be a renegade nun. So I did not wish to seek public office unless I could say that I had the permission and I had the support of my community. At first, they were very open to the idea. Then they began to get cold feet. I had a campaign before I ever campaigned for office. <laughs> and <laughs> I had to be able to say that I was about the work of the church. Mary Bridget was the provincial one Claire wanted to run, and the, the community was really divided on whether she should or shouldn't. And Mary Bridget really listened. She asked absolutely the right question. Claire, is this a matter of conscience for you? Claire said yes, and that was, that was the story. We didn't have any money. She wouldn't take a donation for more than $100, so we had to raise money. We got lots of people who contributed for the first time in their life, and they sent us $25. Sister Claire didn't have any professional staff. Sister Judy was her campaign manager and also full-time legislative aide. Judy was really excellent at writing. Claire got the ideas. Judy wrote them. Several sisters came during the summer because they were teachers and so they had the time off. Well, I was a big fan of theirs. <laughs> I volunteered to come down and work on her campaign to canvas and hand out campaign literature. We made a lot of phone calls and going around neighborhoods, you know, knocking on doors. And As we walked, one of the things we discovered, there were some people who were not going to vote for nuns and some of those people were Catholics who did not think none should be in politics. But for the most part, that was not the issue for people. They wanted to know where she stood on the issues. The issues were the elderly were really concerned about their health care and the poor. The ERA, which of course never passed. Education was a huge issue, and especially children with special needs. And the sanctuary movement, immigration at that particular time wasn't, I mean, it, it sounds like today. She was very clear that you didn't have to have money to come to her office and talk to her. Any group that invited her, she went to talk to them, to help them, to be with them. Claire really testified a lot in the Arizona State Legislature in favor of the Equal Rights Amendment, but it never was voted on and never even came to the floor. But the thing that she did that I think gave her the name recognition and that is she taught people how to go to the legislature and lobby people. And then Judy did a lot of that too, helping the parents of special needs students. This was the department they needed to go to. This was the person they needed to insist upon seeing. She did a lot of that. Now when she died, she had the most name recognition of any politician in the state, including the governor, because I'm sorry. And they were killed in an auto accident. A drunk driving on the wrong side of the road. 
Claire and Judy had finished the legislative session June of 1981. So they took a vacation. It was when coming back that they were both killed. After all these years, just because she had done so much for so many people. I, I really felt I was a part of what they were doing. You didn't have to be the person that was doing this, but being a part of and being supportive of and going to meetings made a big difference. It takes many people to, to get people elected. This is from one of her talks. We will need courage. We will need energy. We will need vision. We will need to be at ease with ourselves and our decisions. Above all, like the psalmist, we will need to keep our eyes fixed on the Lord our God until God lets us rest. And then we will know, as we have always known, that the effort was worth the gift of our lives, the best of our years, the length of our days.